There is a very significant reason for why I don't have color grading tutorials on my channel. That is because I just don't get it. My skin colors are always way off. I can never get the look that I'm after. It's always a large point of frustration for me. That is why I was so excited when my good friend, the better Dylan, Dylan John, told me that he was working on a color grading course. Now when he originally told me this, I was expecting maybe one or two hours of color grading tips for Final Cut Pro and then he'd be on his way, but he went absolutely above and beyond and I can definitively say this is an absolute masterclass from somebody who really truly understands what they're talking about. I've taken the first 10 modules of his over 85 modules that he offers with this course, and I can easily say this is the best course I have ever taken, hands down. So I asked Dylan if he would be willing to share one of his modules completely for free here on the channel so that you guys can further your knowledge of color grading inside of Final Cut Pro, but also to give you a taste of what this course is like so that you can decide if it's for you. I bet recently you've watched a video of from a creator and been blown away how their video looks. You've probably wondered how they got their color grade to look that good, and you chalk it up to something that is unattainable for you. Well, that is absolutely not true. You just have to know the right steps, techniques, and tricks first. So I've spent the past year creating the ultimate color correcting and color grading course for Final Cut Pro and for those who use the plugin Color Finale 2 Pro. It's called the FCP Color Grading Masterclass, and the whole course is made for all skill levels, from brand new beginners to advanced editors. I've covered all the bases with this one. I'm gonna play out a segment from a lesson in the course where I talk about color masks, but for those interested in learning more and seeing some before and afters of some color grades you'll learn how to create, there is a link in the description and in the comments. The Color Mask in Final Cut Pro is a tool that allows you to isolate a specific color or range of colors in your footage and apply adjustments to only that selected color range. This can be useful for making targeted color corrections or creative grading effects to specific parts of your footage while leaving the rest of the image untouched. So for example, let's add another color wheels correction to this shot of this woman. All I did in the first correction was fit the exposure of our shot within our legal values, like we went over in the scopes lesson. And then I just added some saturation. With the second color wheel added, let's select color mask, and you'll notice we have a different looking color panel down here. There are two options for the color mask. Now to see them, you'll need to double click this panel. This is something people comment about all the time on YouTube, the fact that they can't see the different parameters and there's no show button. Just double click this panel if that's the case. So we have HSL and 3D. An HSL mask lets you create a mask by selecting the hue, saturation, and luma values independently. So basically, you can fine tune your selection of what your correction is going to adjust based on color, color intensity, and brightness levels. And the 3D option is a bit simpler by just allowing you to add or remove surrounding colors to the mask by dragging what they call the softness slider. So one option gives you more control and one option is easier to use. Let me show you both. This dropper is how you choose a selection range of your shot. If the dropper is not blue, then it's not selected. So make sure it's selected, and then drag out what you want selected in your shot. So here, I'll click and drag a selection of her skin and her shirt. The more I drag, the more of the shot is selected. Let's say you don't select enough, and we can see that by clicking the View Mask button. Hold the Shift key, and this little plus icon will pop up, allowing you to add additional color shades to the selection. Let's say you select too much. Hold the Option key and you can delete some of the color shades from the selection. Don't worry too much about fine-tuning with the dropper, because in my opinion, it's easier to use these three values down here once you make your initial selection. H stands for Hue, so this is what colors in your shot are part of the selection. You can widen the range of colors selected by dragging on these inner points here, 
And a little pro tip is that by holding command, you can see your mask without having to have it up all the time. And like you can with other slider points, you can hold option to make it so the adjustment moves slower instead of the big adjustments you get just by dragging the sliders normally. So once again, hold command to quick view the mask while you're adjusting and hold option to make a slower, more gradual adjustment. You can make the selection of your parameter softer by expanding these outside sliders. This basically makes it so you're gradually selecting more colors outside of the middle main range you have selected. It's a way for any adjustments you make to not be so harsh. And if you want, you can completely shift the range of color by dragging on the section in between and sliding. Again, this was just one of over 85 different modules that Dylan John has in his course. I have a link down below and you can get 10% off if you use the coupon code down there. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.